In this section, we're going to talk about TEEP storage devices of, that appear under Configured Devices. As we can see in this list, Retrospect is displaying information for a TEEP library. We see several very important things. We see library slots. In this case, we have 19 available slots. We have erased backup media. We have media that has specific names. We have a column that indicates the barcode for those devices. Retrospect also displays for you the tape drive and the tape that's currently in the drive and the slot number that that tape came from as we can see down over here. It indicates that this tape is in the current write mode and this tape is actually in the process of being read. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. If we right click on the actual tape library we can set something called the magazine view when we go to the properties. So in this example we've gone ahead and gotten properties on the tape library at the very top over here and then we have our magazine view settings using these appropriate buttons. The default right now is set to 19. If we change this to a smaller number, Retrospect will change the number of library slots and how the library slots are displayed. In this example we've changed the magazine view from 19 to 5 and what Retrospect has done is it's broken up the magazine view into smaller sections. So if we had a library with 100 slots we can break it down into 5 or 10 or 15 slots per view and then we can expand and, ex expand and contract the sections using the plus sign and the minus sign. In this example we've gone ahead and we right clicked on a specific tape and in that window we have an option to mark a slot as a cleaning slot. And so Retrospect is displaying a warning dialog box asking us if we want to really designate a specific tape slot for cleaning. Retrospect will then reserve that tape slot for a cleaning tape. And then during an appropriate time Retrospect can load the cleaning tape and then load into the drive and then perform a cleaning operation. The cleaning operations can be either set up as a manual process or you can set Retrospect to clean the drive after a certain number of hours of use.